enthusiasm. Better now, in theory. Okay, finally. Okay, finally. Now, I'm voice, and I can turn down, can turn down my phone. Okay, Jesus. So, uh. I was explaining to myself because uh, the microphone wasn't working.
I was explaining to myself that I am currently about half, yeah, like not even very little into Turf Wars, but I saw that the Raimi suit came out. I figured I would talk. Going down. Talk about how I really like the movies and what my favorite ones are. So now I'm just kind of oh oh wow those that doesn't look very good on this. MJ. I made it to the business in Harlem marked on the map I saw in the bar with no name. Looks like a body shop. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing how, sketchy how has ever happened at a Maggio-owned like, body shop. If anyone's watching, dig up anything on Hammerhead's plans. let me know uh, my thoughts exactly. if I need to turn up my... I'll let you know what I find. It'll turn down the game around if I take these guys out. You know anything about this Project Olympus? Shut it, man! So oh. We don't talk about that stuff on the clock. Nobody says it's occult stuff. Go back up. Okay. Oh, come on. No way. So... Um, yeah, this is the costume that, what's his name, why am I having trouble now? Good old, uh, Tobey Maguire. This is the costume that he wore in the original three Spider-Man movies. And now uh, those were a big part of my childhood. My favorite superhero uh, for the longest time, whenever I was little, was Spider-Man. Now it's the Hulk, but, you know, whatever. I think I'm going to have to turn this down a little bit. But anyways, um, I really like the Sam Raimi movies. They were one of my favorites, my favorite superhero movies, that is. Uh, I really have no idea how to work out this user interface. So, whatever. I guess we'll just have to deal That's with it. Anyways, clean, like, like ever since I was little, I've been a really big fan of the Spider-Man movies. Uh, even whenever, even I like Spider-Man three whenever I was little. But I see it, it is a little bit uh, schlocky now, especially the, especially the. Um, The scene where he's walking down the street, dancing to music that isn't playing for anyone else. So he just looks like a goofball. I think someone edited the clip, so then it was, it's just him dancing without the music. And it's admittedly one of the best things I've ever seen. And he just looks like a psychopath. He looks insane. But anyways... Uh, I don't remember watching much. I remember that I watched The Amazing Spider-Man. I don't remember anything about it. I remember that the lizard was the enemy. I remember that uh, Peter Parker was a little bit less of a loser. So I, I didn't like it as much because, admittedly, half of the fun of watching Spider-Man was watching Peter be socially inept. But... Um, I know for a fact I didn't watch The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but Homecoming, now that, that's where it's at, my boy. Homecoming is my favorite Spider-Man film, but I haven't seen Into the Spider-Verse yet, so I can't really definitively say that. I'm really excited for Far From Home, and the most heartbreaking part of Infinity War to me was definitely the uh, Spider-Man death scene. but. Um, I think I'm just going to take down these guys now, so you have to hear me ramble on, but, so, yeah, let's see. I watched my friend Gavin stream this. There's some really fly elevator music playing right here. But I watched my friend Gavin stream this, uh, like a couple of weeks ago. It was right after it came out. Wow, it wouldn't be a couple weeks ago. That was a while ago, wasn't it? But anyways, I think it was November. So it was about a month. Which is a couple weeks, depending on your definition of a couple. My definition is two, so it doesn't really apply. Anyways, I watched Gavin do the first part of a stream of... Uh, 
this. I think he streamed the whole thing all in one bite. Huh? I didn't watch the whole thing because I had things out. to do, like playing Spider-Man on my PS4. Why is that guy still dangerous? Whatever. You? Nope. Time. So, now all I got to do is wait. Someone is grunting heavily. So, uh, I, I don't, I don't feel the need to be, like, very, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to talk like I do at school. Meaning, I'm going to swear. So if you're not ready for that, you can, like, I don't know, do what you want. Someone is on the verge of detecting me. Oh, it's this bloke over here who's found uh, his friend's corpse. You on your phone there, buckaroo? You're safe. But, uh, I followed very closely every rumor, every rumor about this suit being in the game. And, of course, most of them were debunked. But, I never lost hope. So Insomniac decided to grant us the best Christmas present ever, us Spider-Man fans, that is, and gave us the Raimi suit. Actually, uh, that version of, Sam Raimi's version of Spider-Man sounded definitive to me that whenever I envision Spider-Man, I always envision him with the organic webs and not the synthetic ones like he has in the comics. I think he did actually have organic webs in the comics for a period of time after he was eaten by like a spider being. I don't remember. It was stupid. There's a lot of really dumb Spider-Man stories, but he's Marvel's, arguably Marvel's most popular character, so I can see where it would come from. Like, okay, we ran out of good ideas for the time being. Let's just throw shit at the fan. Or whatever that phrase is. Throw shit at a wall until it sticks. And so that's kind of, that's kind of what I imagine happened. What was that? Sleep it off. Oh, uh, of course. Spider-Man, we gotta take him out. Hey guys, we gotta take him out. Not great with cars, but also, I'm totally willing to learn. These are like the names of the dudes during the uh, the part where you're like spying. They are so just stereotypically Italian that I had to laugh whenever I heard them. Oh. <laughs> Good thing I knocked that guy down the elevator shaft. He's a pain in the ass. Whoop. Guess I'm not that lucky. He's <laughs> Oh, that guy's exploding. Oh. It's been a minute since I played this game, so I'm gonna get used to the controls again. That's my cook! Oh, and there's Silver Lining. I'm very happy that they put the Iron Spider suit in this DLC. One of my least favorite parts about the DLCs as a whole, though, is that you can't really purchase the suits. You gotta complete, you gotta complete the story. And the story for this isn't great from what I've seen, but it's fine. You know, I like Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. Even though he's not my favorite anymore, he is definitely one of my favorites. Just because of the relatability and, you know, dude's Spider-Man. He's quippy, young, enthusiastic, relatable. Because I too am a teenage boy, and I too wish I had marvelous powers. You gotta love the way this game works sometimes. No, I don't want to hit you, Jobber. Suits and ties in an auto body shop. We really need to have a conversation about proper workplace attire. So if I get some reliable viewership on this, I might start streaming on the regular. 
I mean, maybe. Oh no. I will view. I as for the time being, I view it as sort of something that I want to do. Sorry, I got a notification on my phone. I view it as something I want to do, and it's like a leisure activity. If I want to talk about something or something, you know, I'll do this. This will be my uh, my forum. What? That was a mistake. Woo. Woo. Double dodge. Piss off. Oh, what a clown! <laughs> it doesn't even do anything. At least with the big guys, they like. They shake it off. Screw it. Fatality. There we go. Oh, the camera angle sometimes also really sucks. But it really just depends on the situation. I've been wondering, what kind of benefits does Hammerhead give you guys? Paid lunches? Team bonding retreats? We. I am very, uh, slightly torn up about the fact that my favorite okay. Spider-Man suit didn't make it in the game. Which is the you know, Ben Riley Spider-Man suit shop. from the 90s. So I think there's something else going on here. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm on the verge of death. I'll be in touch in no time. Jesus. Whoa. Easy there, asshole. Oh, that's death. Okay. My foot's gonna fall asleep if I continue. I'm, I don't have a computer chair. Oh, from the beginning? <sighs> Jesus. That was... that sucked. I'm gonna get hemorrhoids from this level. Couldn't care less. Know what they say, Luigi? <laughs> Nothing we like really a healthy dose of fear, Luigi. Silvermane. Why is that? That voice is not voice. That name is familiar. Ha! <laughs> yes, you didn't know. You'll never know. How many leaks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Pardon my, uh, lack of attention. I feel like it's obligated whenever you play video games in front of people to just talk. I'm actually- I talk a lot of the time. If you know me, then you know that as a fact. Um, why isn't it luring- there. there we go. Ooh. I was very afraid. Lure over here. But anyways, if you know me, you know I talk a lot. And so nothing. I gotta stop watching scary movies. I uh Whoa! This guy's got hops. Somebody Sweet dreams. Dude's a parkour legend. What? what was that? It sounded like some bad polygons. Well, now they're checking out the area, so I'm less secure in my attempts hey, I need some extra eyes. to commit espionage attack. But I'm gonna take some time right now to just check out this suit. 
Let's scope it. I don't have a PS Pro, so I don't think that this is like maximum good looks. But, admittedly, I am very happy that it's here. Um, actually, I'm going to switch to my favorite suit in the game. Which is either... Um, I have to say it's either the Vintage or the uh, Spider Armor Mark IV. Find something refreshing in uh, the way that it does the lines, in the way it's metallic. But I'm, I'm not a really big fan of the story that it's from. It's from... Let's see, what's it called? I don't know. All New, All Different Spider-Man, that's what it's called. And essentially the plot of it is that Spider-Man is Tony Stark. And that's the best way I can explain it. Uh, Spider-Man, after the event called Secret oh, Wars, which is a whole other can of beans, well, I'll give you a little brief version. Um, so, Doctor Doom, Doctor Strange, and this guy called the Molecule Man, it doesn't matter who he is, you don't, you don't really need to know him. You just need to know that he exists in the story. So these three, they go out and they find these dudes called the Beyonders who have started to collapse systematically universes. And since it was like an unnatural thing, it caused a chain reaction. And since they killed one universe that wasn't supposed to die, it caused a domino effect. And eventually, it brought an end to the multiverse. But, just before everything ended in a permanent sense, uh, Doom, Strange, and the Molecule Man, they stopped the Beyonders, and they were able to piece back together uh, this place called Battle World, where Doom sat upon this, like, godly throne with the powers of the Beyonders. So he was this godlike entity that no one dared to challenge. And... No, up there. Anyways. And, uh... Until... Let's see... Until Trouble in Paradise, and... I don't know. Stuff happens. Eventually, it ends up with, like, Black Panther and Namor going beyond this place called The Wall, which is the thing. And they get the Infinity Gauntlet and the Siege Perilous, which can take anyone anywhere. And uh, they all end up duking it out with Doom's Thor Corps, and Doom's Barons are there. Like, each territory is sort of made up of a different universe. And so there's, like, Apocalypse, like Mr. Sinister, and they're fighting these, like, hulks and zombies. And then Thanos shows up with, uh, with an Infinity Gauntlet, and he's just like, oh, hey, Doom, you big... Doofus. And so, he was just like, nah, totally you're the doofus. And then he rips, he straight up like predators. He straight up predators Thanos. But eventually, Reed Richards is able to sort of take the power for himself, the power of the Beyonders. And he uses it along with his. Uh, son, Franklin, Reed Richards is Mr. Fantastic, by the way, and his son, Franklin Richards, and his family, he just kind of takes off into space, uh, and by his family, I mean, like, his wife, Susan, the Invisible Woman, and he just kind of leaves the thing and the Human Torch to stay in the normal universe. Oh, I love it, I love it, oh, it's tasty, tasty on my scrot. Okay. 
Sorry for yelling. Back to the story. Um, but so Reed takes the power of the Beyonders and he rebuilds the multiverse and everything's back. Thing is because Marvel is a they pussied out of a full reboot. Even though DC's done several. Anyways, so in this new universe. Spider-Man, Peter Parker, he struck it big time, and he's like an industrialist and an inventor, and he owns this multi-million dollar company. Actually, now that I think of it, the origins of the company came from Superior Spider-Man. Because the event of Superior Spider-Man saw Dr. Octopus taking over Spider-Man's body. And in that story, he sort of built this corporation using uh, his genius. Oi! Oh, okay. And so, whenever Spider-Man actually got back into his body, even though he never left, whenever he took, whenever he took control of his body again. He was the CEO of this company. And that's just kind of the way it was. I think they, they changed it back, but I haven't been keeping up with Marvel all that much because Marvel's been a little bit, uh, a little bit aggravating to me. I've been, it's been mostly DC that I've read, except for Except for, I read All New Moon Knight. That's a really good story. It is not afraid to get really weird. And I like it. I like weird stuff. Crazy fraud. Like Doctor Strange. Bye -bye. He's one of my favorite... The movie, the, his Bye -bye. film is one of my favorite Someone parts of the MCU. Maybe not altogether, but definitely as part of... Phase 3, I think it was. Whatever. I, I don't remember. There's a, there's a lot of... Jargon! Hey. You didn't see me. You didn't see me! I'm Spider-Man! You didn't see me! I'm Spider-Man! Oh, okay. So... Because I got really scared there. <laughs> that was detective. Safe. So. Man. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, I was talking about how I. DC! DC, ACDC! DC. Oh, no, that's not gonna attract anyone's attention. You only blew up a barrel. Never doubt it. Player two has win. Okay. Uh, I was talking about DC and All New Moon Knight and Doctor Strange. Okay. It's all coming back to me now. Ha! Oh wow, that that was a rupture. Hey guys, mind if I help? I'm not great with cars, but I'm totally willing to learn. We. So I just got done with exams. I don't have to go back to school until the 3rd of January. And I'm very happy about it. Oh, nice. Immune to projectiles too, I see. Well. Uh, you, wow, oh my god, did he even get stunned? What a prick. Whoa! Yeah, because I could dodge that, right? Yeah, because I was only, you know, fighting someone else on the ground, no less. So I can dodge, yeah. Cool. You know, fuck you. Okay. I will try to stop. I will try to not say that. But 
you know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta let the, let the anger out. And that man is punching nothing. Oh, that was my ass. Because I was stuck on his corpse. Spider-Man definitely kills some of these people, by the way. Like, that guy, he's dead. He was smashed into an IV. Yes! 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 Oh, that was so cool. Oh, I loved it. Oh, it was cheesy on my peenie. Sauce on my balls. Ass hat. Oi. Oi. Yes, because that's the dude I want to hit. That's what Bilbo Baggins hates. Give him a nice little hug. Hug his meat. Screw this. This is my favorite power up in the game. You'll see why. Anyone gets it. Doesn't matter. Get back, screw you. Punch you into oblivion. Whoa. Okay. I'm not gonna complain about that. You better run! Better run! Can we also mention that Superman, I'm sorry, Spider-Man can uh, stop cars mid-air, but this beef boy can just smack him around like it's nothing. Isn't that, isn't that a little bit strange? Are we going to say anything about that? I mean, obviously for gameplay reasons, you can't just have Spider-Man as being unstoppable force. Paid lunches, team bonding retreats. But sometimes it's like, you know, this this dude, right this dude saved the city before. What I was really, I was stuck there. This is a good game. Else going on here. And I, and I, in all honesty, it is. Except whenever you get caught in the corner, and. I love that. I love that. That's the best. Whenever it happens a lot, I've noticed it in My Hero, the uh, the dub of My Hero, where instead of there's something wrong about the voice. Whenever someone interrupts someone else in a voiceover, like in real life, both people. I don't know. It's it's weird. It's like uh, you can both people continue talking. For a second, at the same volume. But whenever it happens in my hero, or any, or a lot of other voice voiceover things, it just kind of the one person <laughs> is just talking quieter suddenly, and it's really strange to really strange to hear. It's jarring. I'm really a big fan of the idea that a, uh, a a mafioso guy is into recycling. That's that is a very appealing idea to me. I think it's I think it's hilarious. It's probably their intention in uh, in doing it. I hear that man as he kicks over those boxes like a clumsy little booty. Oh, that was my. What's this? For a Spot. bunch of sleazy gangsters, they sure know how to maintain an auto body shop. Okay, is that all you had to say? <laughs> is that it? <laughs> what? Okay. I thought that there was something special I could do there, but nope, just equip. God, this game is very unorthodox. Yeah. Those moaning noises are hilarious. 
That's how a person struggling sounds. Uh, ooh, Maybe I should yeah. Ears, Jeff. You too. What? Something thudded. I heard something thud very hard. I had no idea what it was though. That's the thing about earbuds, or uh, having any sort of, like, headphone-esque contraption. Web. No, we know what, that means. what? There's Yo, no webs down there though. Here. I didn't web anybody down there, I webbed people up here. Unless they're like, precognitive. I got you. Why not just use the stairs? I'm just saying. Everyone's grunting. I think it's really funny. Because there's no... There's no... <laughs> there's no reason behind it. Just walking around. I got a hernia! I mean, I guess it makes sense with these guys, because they're struggling to get out. But not them. Someone needs a nap. Wow, okay. That was a pain in the scrotum. I got goosebumps there, I got really afraid. <sighs> Sorry, I woke up, uh... Woke up a little bit early today. By early, I mean on time. Because exams are weird at my... the school I go to. Oh, music stopped. That's a shame. Mm. Let's some guys out. Get something done, actually, instead of talking. Game! Ooh. Oh, God. That was terrifying. I don't ever want to do that again, please. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Let me... Let me zip. Zip zoom! Zip to zoom! Okay. Did that? Okay. <laughs> it's not distracting? No? Wow! Oh, thank god you didn't hey guys, cause damage. I need to take damage. Totally willing to learn. That one, <laughs> sometimes it cheeses you in a good way. Like, I definitely, I dodged. It detected me as dodging. But I was still in the line of fire. So it just had it, I, it just took no, I just took no damage, I guess. Oh, video game work. Yes, oh my. One at a time, please. Ooh, don't take more than two. Yeah, what am I webbing? Yeah, webbing. Fire in the hole. No. Fire in my rectum, dude. Wow. Throw an entire shelf of tires. Boy, strong. He's hard now. Oh. Fire extinguisher. Almost said fire hydrant. That shows uh, how smart I am. Go to my credit. I am in. Not the brag. Ha. But uh. I mean, advanced stuff. What the fuck pay you idiots for? Get more guys in here! Suits and ties in an auto body shop. We really need to have a conversation Honestly, about you know, this game attire. really does get down how Spider-Man moves. And uh, the combat system, though basic, is very pain. sufficient. It works quite well. Uh, story is really good. The main game story, that is. Uh, I don't really pay attention to the DLC story. 
because I get the DLC for the suits. And for the new activities that they bring, I guess. Although this is, um, this is like getting a toothbrush shoved down my eye socket. You just piss off. Wow, that was not satisfactory. Oh, that's tasty! Oh, I love it whenever you just get cornered by enemies and they just sort of, uh, pound you? Yes, yes, oh! It tastes so good. More, please. Oh, I'm gonna run out. Oh! That's not a tickle though. What I call that is a cactus. You are you know, I that's very abrasive. Shop, I don't appreciate I think something else going on here. Illegal transport. Oh my god, no. <laughs> not the machine gun boy. No machine gun assholes suck. Oh, yes! I love it! Oh, when you put your fist in my eye! It's so good. What a good game. What a good game. Maybe... You know anything about this project Shut up, uh, I am very close to giving up. We're just saying, screw it. Fight them all at once. That's very, I'm very happy that though, that you can sort of damage the terrain. Eat this. I threw a motorcycle at you, yet I was not detected by you. I don't understand how that works. But, uh, may as well just go for a, a straight and narrow approach. I don't even know what that expression means, but I made it up. Yes. Thank you for actually targeting the man who is meant to target, and not whoever's closest hey guys, to me. Mind if I help? Yo. I'm not great with cars, but I'm totally yeah. willing to learn. Yeah. Esophagus, it hurts from you putting your meat in it. I wasn't ready to be thrown down and given a vigorous cleaning with fists all over my body. That's what we call the scrub down, pound down in uh, Louisiana. I don't live in Louisiana. I don't know why I said that. Nothing makes sense. It makes me think of this, uh, the line that Thor says. So is that made up word? It's a made up word. And Thor says all words are made up. That's, uh, that's one of my favorite parts of the... Boom! Okay. On the subject of Infinity War. Really liked it. It's a good movie. A little bit late to the party on talking about it, I guess. Because it came out, uh, what, six months ago? Something like that? Wee! It's my taint. No, abrasive side. But anyways. Um... Infinity War might be my favorite Marvel movie. Definitely my favorite MCU Marvel movie. I think that Logan might still take the cake as my favorite overall like superhero movie. Logan and the Dark Knight are both very, very well made movies. And I very much enjoy them both. Oh, yes. Still falls by Taser. What? What? Non Euclidean! I've been wondering, what kind of benefits yes, does Hammerhead give you guys? Yes, because you slam people into the ground. Team bonding retreats. 
instead of into people. See, Spider-Man just needs to take out some aggression. He's just, he's just, oh, he also has a gun. Oh, you know, I expected anymore. a chop shop. Not in this story. But I think there's something else going on here. Illegal transport of stolen sable tech. Uh, how old is he? Like 23 in this? In oh my god! No I'll give you respect. That's what, uh, that's what pain feels like. What? Oh, I thought he was going to make his way up the stairs. What? 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 Oh, bro. Yeah, bro. What? Why did my combo go down? I didn't get hit. What? Yes. I love it whenever you put your stun rod right in my... Oh, but... Put it in my... Oh, oh. Yarg. Avoid, dodge, weave, do whatever you must. Escape from the city. Oh! Oh, what's the deal with Spider-Man? <laughs> oh, I made a mistake coming down here, didn't I? What? If you'll excuse me, I think I beat the poopies out of your noggin! No, stop. Get away from it, Spider-Man. Run! <laughs> Run while you still can! Ooh, that was a that was a big sort of scoob. I'll break your friggin' jaw! I'll break your friggin' jaw! Okay, cool. Stay down. Oh, I. Yes, because you wouldn't hit the man who doesn't want me. That's the, that's just logic, I guess. Doesn't have a minigun, punch it in the face. Has a minigun, stay as far away from it as possible. I guess in some situations, that, that's, that's a good idea. But, uh, in this context, I would much rather go for the, uh, Gatling boy first. Whoa. That was very anticlimactic, knocking that guy off the edge. No, no. You don't get to do me like that. I get to do you. Like this. Clean. Right now. Oh. What? You know anything about this Project Olympus? You got it, man. We don't talk about that stuff on the block. Calvary says it's occult stuff. Trying to make the data something? Oh, come on! No way, man! That ain't the way Sable runs things! Uh, if I have something else to talk about, I'll do that. Until then, uh, peace.